to trust God when the future is uncertain. I know it is not so easy to say that we trust the Lord. But what about trusting God in hard times? What happens when life doesn't go the way we like or the way we expected? Maybe you have had a failed relationship or a bad medical report or you have lost a job or you have prayed and waited so long for something and it is not forthcoming. You begin to ask yourself, is God still trustworthy? Is he still there? When things do not go the way you wanted, it is very easy to trust God in the good seasons of life. But what about in your trials? Do you still trust God? Knowing exactly the way a situation is going to turn out is not trust, because trusting in the Lord is not about us knowing everything. It is about us trusting that he knows everything. In life, there are times when some things just don't make sense. I have found out that if I based God's goodness and faithfulness on the certain moments of my life, and not on the uncertain times, it will be very difficult to trust God and believe that He's still good. There have been times when things didn't go the way I expected or trusted God for, but as I look back at my past, I see the goodness and faithfulness of God in my life. Time and time again, I have seen God come true for me in impossible looking situations. So because there have been moments of bad reports or negative situations, that doesn't change the nature of God or his ability to redeem any situation in my life. So in tough times, I remind myself that if God healed, delivered or redeemed me, in the past then he will do it again this world may be uncertain unstable and always changing but our God doesn't change he is the same yesterday today and forever people are going to disappoint you and let you down but our God doesn't change is our solid rock his promises are reliable we can trust god when the future seems uncertain because god is consistent and constant is unchangeable no matter what happens today or tomorrow it will not change his word was sure a thousand years ago and it will be sure for the next thousand years with this, I find peace and rest in Him. This brings me to Psalm 108, verse 1 and 8, 5. Psalm 108, verse 1, it says, My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and make melody with all my being. David was in the midst of difficult circumstances where his future was uncertain, but he was determined to continue to praise God, even in the midst of life's difficulties. Are you in the midst of a difficult, painful, or uncertain circumstances today? Just sing to the Lord. In Psalm 108 verse 5, it says, that your beloved ones may be delivered Give salvation by your right hand and answer me. 
After David finished singing and exalting God, then he laid his prayer request before God. But in this time, we prefer to pray first and then praise God after we get our answered prayers. But David did the opposite way. First, he praised God. Then, he prayed to God. When trusting God, we need to apply courage in our daily lives. Because trusting the Lord takes courage. Courage is putting your life in God's hands when your hands are trembling. When I pass through trials and challenges, I try to switch my mind on my faith. It wasn't easy to switch your mind off your problems and focus it on God. But I began to trust in Him. I began to focus on Him and He has never disappointed me. Sometimes when trusting God in hard times, we need to give up our right to understand everything. We need to turn on our faith and trust in Him. God is faithful and He knew us before we were formed in our mother's wombs. In Psalm 139, He created us. Yes. God is a good God. He is the same God who never disappoints me and He will do the same for you. If only you switch off your mind from your problems and switch on your faith in Him and cling to His strength.